about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for We took a taxi to Costco and then we took a, another taxi to Walmart where we wandered around trying to um, find where things are and it was little things that would throw you off like looking for brown sugar and they label it a different name under what you learn it as or you're looking for cream cheese and it's with the ham and the meat which I, you don't, I don't know why. But it's like little things like that that just throw you off and you kind of feel like you have a flow going and then realize you have to go back to another area of the store or something like that. So it's just crazy. Um, that combined with like having to wear a mask and understand people and talk to people is just super hard. So I don't know why, but we thought it was a good idea to go through the self-checkout. Don't go through the self-checkout. You can't check yourself out because you can't understand the language and you don't know what you're doing. So you want to... Um, check out go to the checkout stand and let somebody do the work for you so that was a life lesson learned so we're gonna reorganize our stuff now um, and try and make it a little consolidated so that we can go and Steve discovered we can get a taxi or an uber or something like that we don't have to take the bus back and we will get a ride back and get to the arena so we can hopefully make it to the final party for the haha -ha before we head out in a couple days so happened while we were at church. A couple that was also visiting at church that week put two and two together and realized that we knew the friends that they were visiting Cabo with. Because our friends had gotten food poisoning the night before, they had stayed back at their hotel. So we went to their hotel to surprise them. Everyone was feeling better, us girls got together and hung out by the pool while the guys went fishing on the boat. Hello! We're out in front of the marina, we just docked our dinghy and we are headed into town to do laundry, it's laundry day. Second laundry day. Second laundry day, yeah, we already did laundry once. Um, and washed all the clothes. Now we're washing all of our bedding. We found an amazing laundry mat um, here in Cabo San Lucas, but I think all of Mexico. Like if you wanna do laundry, you take your laundry to somebody and they wash it and they dry it and they fold it for you. So um, I'm not used to such luxuries. So that's been super fun. So you just drop it off. It costs us $5 a load, which um, is it's phenomenal so they don't they don't do tiny loads either so they've got big machines to do it all for you so we're going to drop off our laundry now and it's just us today so it's kind of nice we're gonna run a couple errands and then maybe grab a bite to eat and hang out together so Ooh. yeah well, so that point. Right?
While Ella and I were on shore, Noah and Lana spent the day at the beach with some of the kids from the Baja. Ella and Mia did homework while Steve worked on prepping the boat so we could leave tomorrow. We filled up with gas, he did some check overs on the different systems, and then had a nice relaxing day with some peace and quiet. Look at our ceviche! Yummy! Made Woo! by our friends! Thank you, Eduardo! Thank you! Actually, Eduardo is fine. Yeah. yeah, tell her thank you! Thank, thank you! Thank you! <laughs> it's delicious! What's the wind up, wind down speech again? You guys wind up around this time. This is when I wind down. <laughs> We've been gone all day, so I know. we you miss guys you. Like <laughs> it's just soaking up the sun and having fun. <laughs> my day off. <laughs>